Hello, 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 hello. I'm Lynn Browder, and I have a son, Owen, who is 12. He has autism, and we paint together working on his fine motor skills. He helps me paint the backgrounds of our paintings with the hand over hand method. And then I paint the rest. So I paint a lot of flowers and <laughs> that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> Sometimes I try to do other things, but today is a flower day. It's just one of those things where I feel like I have to do some flowers. I've been trying to do some different flowers, but I can tell you, I get stuck on these same styles and it just happens. It just keeps happening and I keep doing it. But, you know. So, I'm trying to make myself branch out or leaf out <laughs> or flower out. Blo blossom. 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 How about that? That's what I want to do is blossom. So, here we are attempting I promise they all look the same. So today is Sunday and we had a pretty good day. We went to church. That always makes both of us happy, but that always makes Owen happy when he has his routine and he got to see one of his favorite peoples. They were back today. And it's always nice that he has that has those connections with people and so um it makes me happy that he has his friends and his you know just the people he likes so um we had that and then we um came home and he's had a pretty good afternoon except for that the fact that he can't let go of what is happening tomorrow and his Saturday was changed. We had had some storms um, come through and there was lots of flooding and so that changed his Saturday with his grandma and he, we've had several weeks of bad storms and, and just the days off of school because of it and just one thing after another. So that has been very hard for him to kind of get through all of those moments. But he um, is ready to go see his grandma tomorrow. Well, he can't, um, he, he, it, it breaks my heart that he can't live in the moment. Like I get that he's excited about it, but once he's there, he's, he's happy, but he then moves on to the next thing. It's like he's excited about going to school tomorrow, but he can't concentrate in the moment. And so we're working with his therapist and we're working with his behavior specialist and different doctors trying to see if we can figure out some strategies to kind of work through those moments for him because he just keeps repeating that he's ready to go see his grandma and I, I totally get it, but it's, he just, it's hard when he is so focused on times that aren't coming. Like the, it's still 24 hours away and he can't get to that point where he's okay with something not being right this minute. Um, so I just, I want him to be able to relax in his moments and not stress so much about what's happening. 
So hopefully one day he will kind of be able to work through more of those days and times and moments and I don't know. I just, I feel like there's got to be some more strategies that we haven't come up with or touched on or found the right, um, I'm hitting everything, my, <laughs> my glasses, the pen, I mean the <laughs> paint brushes. Um, I just, I, I keep praying that there's a solution for him, um, and we will come up with it. Working on breathing exercises, that's one of the things that we're working on, and it is helping, but it's still kind of hard when, you know, that's, that's such a, it's a lot for him to deal with, and my baby it's my baby you know it's my baby so hopefully he's got um a behavioral specialist that we work with um and she's teaching me um she's going to teach me some new techniques that uh, and new strategies that we might be able to adapt for owen and hopefully using some new techniques some different things that will kind of help him with some of these moments. Um, it's just, it's, it's hard when I know he's struggling with timing and, and how everything's going. So I just want it to be easier to explain life's changes. He gets very stuck on a, um, routine set. And I get it. He wants his friends. He wants his school. He wants the things he wants. But when life keeps happening, like the storms, I mean, he couldn't go to school because we didn't have power. They didn't have power for days. And so they were out of school for three days. They had just gotten off of spring break. And then they're back at school after this. And a couple days later, then they're out of school because of more storms. And then there was flooding. And so you can't help Mother Nature. Uh, but how do you explain that to a child that absolutely thrives on routine? How do you explain that no matter what he wants, it's not going to happen for that day? I mean... It's, it's such a hard concept, and so, uh, it breaks my heart, but hopefully the older he gets, the more that we can work on some of these moments in time, and hopefully that will kind of help him to get through more of these, um, moments when it's not something that is routine, like, uh, you know, two huge storms, like, sets of storms. I don't even know how to explain it. We had, I think now they've said like 16 tornadoes in our state and maybe including like the tri-states right around us, West Virginia area. Um, but that number keeps changing. So I'm not even sure if that's the final number now or not. So, and then we had severe flooding all over, um, so, you know, how do you, how do you go and explain all that? So, I just tell him we have to give it all time. Um, but he's had a good day today, and that's the important part. He got to see people that he really likes at church, his favorite peoples, and that truly helped. So, here's to good days ahead. That's what I'm hoping for, for all so here's our flowers i think we are set i feel like my lines are off like i need a line over there <laughs> sometimes i just feel like i'm not quite in the right moment or something i don't know okay so we do o for owen and then l it's very thick 
I usually wipe off my brush and I didn't. L M B. So there we go. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Doodles.